nutrient-dense food has become much harder to find. Modernized production processes, the need for longer shelf life, and nutrient depletion in our soil all steal nutrition from our diet. Even fruits, vegetables, and greens are harvested prior to ripening so they can be stored for months before delivery to supermarkets. But most fruits and vegetables have the highest concentration of nutrients when they ripen. This means that despite our best efforts, we are getting less rather than more from the foods we eat. This has resulted in an understandable boom in the vitamin supplement industry. But most people don't realize that most supplements are synthetically made. We have been taught that synthetic vitamins and minerals are identical to natural sources. But what if that is wrong? What might these unknown entities do to our body? This is Natural versus Synthetic, a true story about one man's experience with synthetic vitamins and how they nearly cost him his life. In 1995, I formed a company called Pinnacle International. And that company, I, uh, I had a, a product that was fantastic. I had several nutritionists. I had a couple of, uh, of doctors uh, to help me and uh, some nutritional scientists. And we put together a formula and I called it the Pinnacle Performance Pack. And it was rated as one of the best in the nation. And that pack and the formulation for that pack was uh, set up to be taken and exclusively marketed in Japan, which I did. And I did that for, shoot, 10 years. And I was taking the product myself, uh, just consistent. I was very dedicated to my own product. And uh, so I was taking the eight capsules that it called for per day, which was really giving me all the nutrition that I needed. Pinnacle Performance Supplement Pack was rated number one in the nation and had been formulated by leading scientists, chemists, and nutritional experts. Gary was certain he had the best product on the market and the safest. But then something happened that neither Gary or anyone else could have predicted. About 10 years after producing this product, uh, I woke up one night uh, in a individual's home that I was staying in, happened to be a, a chiropractor, and uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was just burning up and I had uh, what I thought was a real high temperature. And I looked down and I started to, to, to notice that I had red welts that were coming up on my stomach. I was admitted into the hospital. I did not realize it that about six days after being in the hospital, one of the four doctors that was attending to me came in and said, Gary, I don't know if you know this or not, but you were in intensive care for two days. And if it was not for the strength of your heart, you would have died. And I thought, what are you talking about? And they said, yeah, your liver was so filled with liver toxins. It was just filled with toxins. Your liver enzyme count was as high as we've ever seen it on anybody. And we're keeping you here. After the two week period of staying there, one of the doctors that was assisting me or helping me came in and he was going over again, what was I doing and why should I have these toxins build up? And as he started to leave the room, he looked over on the little countertop uh, by my bedside and he said, uh, Gary, uh, what, what are the, what's this? Well, that was my pinnacle performance pack, the best vitamin the nutritional package on the market, uh, the one that had been researched and studied. And so uh, he picked it up and he looked at it and he said, well, there's some herbs in here that I think might be causing you some of your problems. Gary stopped taking his Pinnacle Performance Pack and began investigating what he'd actually been taking all this time. He learned that the herbs listed were meant to be beneficial for the liver, but then turned his focus to the other ingredients. Finally, I went to one that was Merck's Encyclopedia of Pharmaceuticals, and it had a description as to how these vitamins were made. And all of a sudden, my eyes were opened. And then I started seeing the list of ingredients as to how these vitamins were made, 
I thought, my word, this is poison. And I looked and I thought, look at this, Treat, uh, pyridoxine hydrochloride. What is that? That's vitamin B6. And you look at the parentheses after every vitamin B6, I don't care if you're looking at it on a box of cookies, a box of cereal, uh, or your vitamin pack that you've got. You'll see vitamin B6 and then parentheses, it'll say pyridoxine hydrochloride. Well, what is pyridoxine hydrochloride? How about made from petroleum byproducts, coal tar? How about treated with acetone in order to get the molecular strength to copy a real vitamin? It's a carcinogenic material. Well, then I looked at, okay, what other B vitamins? I looked at every single B vitamin, every single one of them, coal tar derivative, petroleum derivative. How about B12, cyanocobalamum? Look it up sometime. Look at the first word, the first letters. Cy, it's treated with cyanide. It's a carcinogenic poison. It'll cause all sorts of problems. Well, when you're putting this into your system, the body doesn't recognize it, as I said earlier, as a live substance. All they see it as is a dead, dead substance with no life. And the liver immediately receives it as a toxin. And you do this over the years and that toxin builds up. And the liver, which really dictates the, the, the health of your immune system, all of a sudden becomes totally infected. Well, that's what happened to me. 10 years of taking what I thought was a great vitamin product, my Pinnacle Performance Pack, was nothing more than filled with synthetics. While in recovery, Gary read an article about the importance of eating whole food. He started consuming his body's daily requirement of vitamins and minerals through natural sources rather than supplements. He started feeling better than he had in months. He then decided to try to prove his theory that synthetic vitamins were the source of his sickness. I said, I'm going to try something. And I went to two different doctors without either doctor knowing what I was doing. And I said, I would like to have a blood test. At the time they said, okay, your liver enzymes are definitely down from what they were. You're, you're, it's looking good. And I said, great, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna be back in 30 days. And I would like another blood test then. So the next 30 days, what did I do? I took my Pinnacle Performance Pack. And at the end of 30 days, I went in and got the blood test. Lo and behold, Gary, uh, your liver enzymes are coming back up again. This is very interesting. What are you doing? And I said, I'll tell you, I'll tell you soon. I said, but I'm trying something. And I said, I'll be back in 30 more days. The next 30 days, what, I'm, what am I doing? I'm at Whole Foods Market spending my $17 a day with whole fruits and vegetables. And I'm eating nine servings, as much as I can eat, a day. No vitamins, no nothing. Just taking my nine servings of fruits and vegetables. And I go back 30 days later. Gary, your liver enzymes are coming down again. This is very interesting. And I said, I'm gonna try something else. Well, I won't name the brands, but I did use a different brand. And for the next 30 days, I used the XYZ brand. And it was filled with the same kind of vitamins that I had. And you'd be familiar if I told you the brand. I took it, I went in 30 days later, and they said, Gary, your liver enzymes are coming back up. I did this for 12 months, 30 days on, 30 days off. 30 days on, 30 days off. 12 solid months. Literally, literally, and I've got the proof to back everything I'm telling you up. At the end of each of the 30 days that I was on a synthetic vitamin, my liver enzymes would shoot up. At the end of 30 days, while eating nothing but fruits and vegetables, my liver enzymes went down. After 12 months of this experiment, Gary discovered an all-natural, whole food-derived vitamin and mineral supplement. He decided to take a chance. This would be another experiment to see how his body might respond differently to these naturally sourced supplements. So I doubled up and I was taking 18 capsules a day. 
I go in for my blood test. I haven't been in for six months. And they said, Gary, this is remarkable. You've got the blood health of someone in their early, in their 20s. But what are you doing? And I told them. And I said, I feel phenomenal. I haven't had a cold. I haven't had anything. I'm not weak. And they said, this is, this is wonderful. This is wonderful.